Hey guys, I'm Sammy, social media manager and resident sweater queen at Teen Vogue. And I'm Christine, knitwear designer and sweater expert. Christine is going to show us exactly what's behind the pricing of the coziest item of the season, sweaters. Christine is going to use her insight and expertise to compare two sweaters. She'll walk me through the fit, feel, and fabric that differentiates them, and I'll use that newfound knowledge to guess the price of a mystery sweater. What is your favorite thing about sweater weather? As you know, it's getting a little colder. And I have all these summer dresses that I can't really wear anymore, but I still want to. So just to like switch it up, I throw a sweater underneath or on top and then I have a look. Girl, I'm here for it. Exactly. Oh my God, yes. So how about you? What do you love about sweaters? I am such a big fan of sweaters that I actually make them. I was studying graphic design in college and mm -hmm. I took a knitting class mm -hmm. as an elective mm -hmm. and that was a game changer. I launched Responsive Textiles right after I graduated. Oh wow, cool. I have an heirloom sweater that my grandmother's grandmother knit her. That's incredible. And it's still an amazing shape. Mm -hmm. It's in my closet at home right now. And that's kind of like what we're talking about here. Right. Like when you buy something that's big ticket, but constructed really well and made of really awesome material, mm -hmm. you're gonna have something that's gonna last you Forever. decades. Yeah. So today we're gonna go through a few different factors mm -hmm. that'll help us determine whether a sweater is cheap or expensive. Cool. Let's start first with your mystery sweater over here. Take a look. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Do you think it's cheap or expensive? I don't know, cause it's like, it's a little bit stretchy. Like the material's a little bit thicker. It feels like it'll be warm, even though it kind of looks thin. But when you look at the seams, they're decently done, but you can also, there's like a little bit of string hanging out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go with cheap, cheap. So do I get a prize? Yes. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. We're gonna start off with fiber content and length. Basically fiber content mm -hmm. is what makes up the yarn. Right. Where did it come from? Right. If it's a synthetic, then it's man-made. Mm -hmm. If it's a natural fiber, mm -hmm. then it either came from a plant, like a cotton or um, a linen, or it came from an animal like your cashmere's and wool's. Right. In addition, it's important to look at fiber length. Mm -hmm. The longer the fiber, the more advantageous it is. The fabric's gonna feel smoother. Right. It's not gonna pill as easily, mm -hmm. which makes it stronger. So it's just gonna like last longer and feel better. Exactly. Like if you ever have a wool sweater that's mm -hmm. itchy, chances are one, it's a low grade wool, mm -hmm. and two, it's short fiber content. So those little fibers are sticking out and like mm -hmm. abrasing your skin. Right. So how do you test like the fiber length? In store, it's really hard. You're mm -hmm. gonna have to mainly go off the of feel. Right. I would say sometimes on the labels, mm -hmm. it'll say combed if it's a plant-based, which means that that does have a longer fiber length. Pima cotton or Egyptian cotton, right. those have long fiber lengths. Mm -hmm. With a wool, if mm -hmm. it's worsted, that's gonna be a longer fiber length. Okay. Yeah. If it was just me in my studio, I would do first a burn test, mm -hmm. which you definitely can't do in a store. Right. <laughs> um, but you would burn the end of the yarn mm -hmm. first. If it melts, then it's a synthetic. And if it burns, then it's a natural fiber. Right. If it smells like hair burning, then mm -hmm. it's a protein based. Mm -hmm. And if it's more ashy and charcoaly, right. then it came from a plant. Oh, okay, cool. So now that you learned all this stuff about fiber content and length, mm -hmm. we have our two options here. Right. Which one do you think is cheap and which one do you think is expensive? Okay. I would say for this one, it's soft, but you can still feel that like, I guess it's a little bit of starchiness to mm -hmm. it. But kind of be worried that it's itchy or something. Mm -hmm. This one is super soft. It feels expensive, it feels like luxury. So I'm gonna say this one is cheap, and this one, because it's so soft, and the fluted sleeves, look at these, they're beautiful. I'm gonna say this one is expensive. Let's take a look and see if you were right. All right. All right, drum roll. Yes! Okay. $20. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> $395. Okay. This is actually a cashmere sweater. Mm -hmm. I can tell by how soft it is. Makes so that sense. kind of explains the price tag. It's exactly. an incredibly high quality fiber. Take a look at both of these and just let me know what you think about how they're constructed. And pay attention to the seam on the inside. You can actually see like right here, the stitching, right? Mm-hmm. But this one, you can't really see the stitching. But you can obviously see the seam inside. What you're picking up on is really important because mm -hmm. they are constructed two totally different ways. Right. 
This is a cut and sew piece. The rolls of fabric were laid out and stacked on top of each other, mm -hmm. and they were cut mm -hmm. and then serged together. Okay. Whereas here, this is actually a full fashion piece. And okay. what that means is the panels were knit to size on mm -hmm. a knitting machine. Okay and then they were linked together after. When you say they surge it, what does that mean? After the fabric is cut, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a sewing machine, but it interlocks and protects the knit. So if you had just a regular sewing machine, the knit would unravel. Right. So that prevents that. Oh, cool, okay. Which you don't need here because these pieces are knit to size, so you have a finished edge Ooh. running through. So you don't have to worry about it unraveling on you. Oh, okay. I do have to say though, just because it's full fashion, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it's expensive. Right. There's plenty of full fashion pieces on the market that are similarly low price. Mm -hmm. And that's just because in the designing process, there's kind of like a give and take that happens. If you're gonna do a more expensive manner of construction, then you're going to save money on the fiber content and have like a synthetic fiber instead of a high grade wool. Earlier we talked about fiber content and length, and now you know more about construction. So between these two pieces, which one do you think is cheap and which one do you think is expensive? Okay, based on what I've learned so far, I'm going to say that this one is the cheap one. I don't wanna be wrong. And this one is the expensive one. It seems like it might be a full fashion moment. Right, okay, let's take a look and see if you're right. right. Ready? Oh, okay. $34. Now let's look at the second one. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, wow. $150. <laughs> so now you know about fiber content and mm -hmm. length and construction. I do. So do you want to change your answer about the mystery sweater or do you want to stay the same? Let's see. What kind of seam do you think that is? I don't know if it's because it's thicker, but it doesn't seem like a cut and sew. But at the same time, you have these like extra fibers attached, which I feel like if you're paying a lot of money for a sweater, that's something you look at and kind of avoid. Mm -hmm. I think I'm still gonna go with cheap. Okay. All right, cheap. Take a look here between sweater A and B, pick on the inside, mm -hmm. find that seam, and then look on the front. And what do you see? Oh, interesting. You can't really, tell where the seam is looking back to front unless you like split it open. Okay, and actually that's a great thing. So slightly pull it apart mm -hmm. and look at the seam a little closer. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm looking for necessarily, but it is all like interlocked. Okay, awesome. Now let's look at sweater okay. letter B. <laughs> well, this one is soft too. This one doesn't really, ooh. It's a little bit of a zigzag. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't know that was something you could look for until I found it. You totally picked up on it. You know, you couldn't even really find the seam right. on this one, right. which is an indicator of a seam that was put together mm -hmm. with a lot of time and consideration. Right. The fact that it's straight, it's telling you that someone put in a lot of man hours. Mm -hmm. Same here on the sleeve. The seam is right here, and right. you can hardly tell that it's there. On the flip side here, when you pull it apart, it's a hot mess. It's going all over the place, and it just means that it was pushed onto a linker rather mm -hmm. quickly mm -hmm. and then linked together. Similarly, when we look at the shoulder seam, something that sticks out to me right away is these ribs are not matching up oh. at the same points. They're slightly askew as you go down. That's just another indicator that it was put together rather quickly. Right. On the sleeve, you see that even more. Like when they started the sleeve, it matches up perfectly, which is what we want because it just looks better. Right. But then as we move up, we can see that it's going all over the place and slowly it's becoming more and more askew as it goes up. Because of the hot mess we saw <laughs> with B, I'm gonna guess this, that one is the cheap one. A is the expensive one. Drum roll. Yes girl, all right, ready? Wow. Bam, $395. I was right. 50. Okay. Interesting. This price point reflects just the amount of time and effort. Right. These pieces are seamed by a person who has to literally push these stitches onto the machine. And the more time you spend to keep it nice and even, the more expensive the piece is gonna be. Now that you've learned about fiber content and fiber length, sweater construction, and how to notice those little details, what do we think about the mystery sweater over here? Okay. Why would the seam be on the side instead of in the back? That's a good question. Just saying. I think based on that, <laughs> mostly, uh -huh. and I'm still like harping on this little like extra piece of thread, I'm still gonna go with cheap for now. 
last but not least, we're gonna talk about dyeing. Okay. Here we have two sweaters, I'm wearing one. Okay. And then we have our mystery sweater over there. Take a look at the fabric and how it's dyed and let me know what you think. You can get it close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this one obviously has a mix of like colors. It's heathered, right? And this one, the way it's dyed, it almost looks like it's supposed to be a pattern or that it was dyed before and then put together. Okay. Wait, aren't all clothes dyed before they're put there? So no. No. Oh my gosh. Fun fact, the clothes that are dyed after they're put together, those tend to be very simple construction pieces, including sweaters, actually. You were right. This is heathered. What that means is it was stock dyed. And stock dyeing happens on the fiber level. Mm -hmm. So before it's spun into yarn, the fibers are dyed and then they're produced into yarn. That's intense, okay. And on the flip side with this piece over here, if you look really closely, you actually might be able to notice that it's actually two yarns being run through the machine at the same time. Okay. And that's because it, it was yarn dyed. Instead of being dyed on the fiber level, like in a heathered yarn, this piece over here, the yarns were dyed after it was spun and before it was knit into a garment. So that's why it kind of like almost looks like it's making some sort of pattern because the yarn went through together. Mm -hmm. Got it. Exactly. So between these two, right. the mystery sweater and my sweater, which one do you think is cheap and which one do you think is expensive? I think I'm going to stay strong and continue, <laughs> or maintain rather, that this one is cheap and that your sweater is expensive. Literally based on the fact that yours is heathered. <laughs> and that sounds expensive. It does sound fancy. Yeah. Okay, Sammy, I have some news. All right. You were right. Yes. 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 This yes. is $295. Mm -hmm. And our mystery sweater is? Let's get this one. All right. It is $29. I was right. You were right. I was right. Thank yes. you. I won. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> that was very intense.